morning. This morning we're going to make some bread. I like doing that and since my husband doesn't have me make bread very often, he's going to film this because I used to make this weekly and now it's like, yeah, every once in a while. We start out with sugar, flour, Crisco, and I haven't got my other stuff out yet. I always use uh, Fleischmann's. I prefer that. I prefer um, Crisco, Pillsbury flour. I always have the best results with that. This batch, I have a six quart KitchenAid. It's the best part of your kitchen. What's the best part of my kitchen? My stove. A real camper <laughs> oven. Your your insignia. A real residential oven. I should, exactly. Okay, we're gonna warm up. This pot's a little big. We're gonna warm up two cups of milk. This is a recipe that handed down from my grandmother. We have a daughter and her family coming to visit, and she loves, Brittany loves bread. And today's her birthday. Happy birthday, Brett. We're gonna bring this up to where it's just it's not boiling, you're just starting to get some steam off the okay. Steam off the top of it. Then I'm gonna warm up a little bit of water to mix my to mix my yeast into. We don't need we need one cup. Three tablespoons of Crisco oil that I'm going to melt. Depending on how soft your Crisco is, it may be anywhere from 45 seconds to, to a minute. because this makes five loaves of bread. We're going to take two packages of yeast. Set the other two aside for the second batch. We're going to make two batches today. Once our water is ready, Take my one cup of water and we're going to mix that in with our two packages of yeast. One cup. that a good stir so all of your yeast is dissolved. If you get too much if you get your water too hot it's going to turn your yeast. If you get it too cold the yeast isn't going to activate. I'm 
always check the date of when you buy yeast, always check the date on the package because old yeast will, will not work well. Okay, we're going to take the Crisco that we melted. We're going to add our yeast. I didn't stir it well enough. Then we're going to take our two cups milk and we're going to add two cups cold water to that. And by doing that, it tempers, it tempers your, your milk, your hot milk down so it doesn't ruin. Your yeast. I'm going to add the two. This is just my way of doing it. I'm tempering the milk as I pour it in. Just set that aside for the second hat. Brittany eats lots of bread. I'm going to add three quarters cup of sugar. And I bake this with 2% milk. And we're going to start adding that we're going to add 10 cups of flour. Depending on your altitude, the 10 cups of flour may vary. You'll see you don't want it to get dry. And we know we're at sea level because the ocean is right behind us. And now the KitchenAid does its magic. My work is done almost. Use your dough hook. Set it on two. flour as you go along because you want a bread like dough consistency. You just let that work so that and my last minute I'm going to set up my next bag. Thank 
crystal or whatever sort you use. Some people go to a lot of places. consistency I want yet. I don't need a lot. This point is starting to smell very yeasty. Which is a good thing, not a bad thing. Yeah, absolutely. Means it's alive. Yeah, 
and the rest of you guys because it's been a while since I've been a good friend. Dad will tell you that. No matter how much I beg. Yeah, he whines a lot. having one of our kids come to visit. We have five and ten grandkids. And I have a prep jet as my goal to put this into, which I usually do up front. my brother Joe, yes, we will be having homemade bread for toast tomorrow morning with our coffee. Just wanted to give you something extra to wine about too. Yay. Make sure your bread is floured nicely. Form it in. Knead it down as much as you can. Make sure your board stays nice and floured underneath your bread. Then you wind up with a nice bread. Flop that into your well, I used to use Crisco to line my bowls with, and I found that it was a lot more cleaner. So I went to the spray pan. And it's so much easier for cleaning your bowls. And I use white cloths. And these are for my bacon only. I drench them in hot water. This is something my grandmother always used to do. Cover the bowl and then that batch is done until it doubles inside. Put it in a nice warm spot, which I'm going to put on my table. And we're going to let that double. Now we're going to go on to the second batch. Again, you put 
put in our let's go and you always know your yeast is working when you see it start to foam and that's why I like to let it set some people add it all at once but I like to let it set and make sure it's good foam before I put make a whole batch and find out my yeast was bad Then we're going to do the milk and the water. At home I use, when we had a house, I used to use tap water, but when we go from campground to campground, even though we have a filter system, I still like to use bottled water. Again, I'm tempering my milk. Three quarters cup sugar. And when you put the sugar in the yeast, it'll it'll make the, your yeast talk. You know, like snap, crackle, and pop. Again, we're going to go with ten cups of flour. More or less. Now, a lot of people use bread flour. I use just Pillsbury all-purpose flour. Pillsbury is best. I've always had good luck. I've tried other brands of flour and shortening, and I haven't had the same results. So. Creature of habit, I guess. Okay, up we go. Back onto the. Make sure your mixer's locked down. Mix it in. Bring it up. And that's it until it's pretty much done. And then start cleaning up my kitchen.
try to get all the good stuff off here. Plus, in a camper, on a home tour, you don't want a lot of stuff going down your your drain. See all the sticky spot again make sure your hands are nice and flowered and then start working it Ooh, sticky spot There and I try to keep my hand from all this extra sticky stuff clear so it doesn't keep ripping into my dough ball. Just keep working it towards the middle. We have a nice dough ball. Depending on your weather, it could be your temperature, it could be an hour that is doubled in size, it could be two hours. And on the time of the year, your location, your altitude. But there's the second batch. And the first one is already starting to rise a little bit. You see just a little bit of a hump there coming out. And the location, you want to have kind of a warm spot that it will sit without drafts. Flower your board really well. Flower your hands really well. It's What 
I do is I flip it over and over. And because I have carpal tunnel, it's easier for me to work with individual loaves as opposed to working with the whole kit and caboodle to begin with. And then I can work with them individually to make loaves. And then you just knead it down. What you're trying to do is press out any air bubbles while you're shaping it into a loaf. Is that ready to be moved? Hmm? Do you want me to move that or is that? No, okay. not until okay. I get them all so that I don't want any in the sun until Got it. I can cover them all at the same time. This gives you a workout in the shoulders and the hands. You can also shape these into different things. You can split them if you want to do a braid or if you want to put, when you're doing these individual loaves, if you want to put, if you want to make some Italian, with some Italian seasoning, you can add some like oregano or any Italian seasoning in them. You can make them into long loaves, which you wouldn't get five out of it. You would just get a couple. I also break these down to make rolls out of for, for dinners. place them in the sun so they get nice and happy. Once again, I take my cloth nice hot water on it and wring it out really well because you don't want drippy water on here. Okay. And then we'll let them double in size again and then later we'll bake them. They do look nice. But they flatten down on me for some reason. I think it's because that um, was a little bit older, that yeast. That's what I'm wondering. I mean, it still worked, but it's still yeah. a little bit of...
for working with glass. I never put ice cold water on a hot glass. I had one explode on me one cut my face. And that's super hot water in there, so. Yeah. It's hot water. She would set them on the side, on the sides to cool. Then we'll go until the next batch. You butter those, and it makes them happy, happy.